Let's an intro video to the Eve growing method. Eve, sacred feminine, the mother of the human race, is also the acronym for Eco Vertical Evolution. The Eve growing concept is a combination of my many hours making and studying hydroponics, aquaponics, aeroponics, and Dutch bucket grow systems. Eve could be called all ponics because the best of these non traditional grow methods have been incorporated into the Eve growing system. Eve, however, is more about traditional gardening because I use rich organic soil as my growing medium. The Eve growing technique is very cost efficient because it uses recycled material and again composted soil anyone can freely attain. When you study the art of composting, you're learning important aspects of nature. You get a sense of how vital it is that we form a symbiotic circle with the all and how important we could be as conscious beings to the collective whole. The human race is destined to be a positive link in this circle of life rather than a negative one. Composted soil as a grow medium together with the Eve growing concept gives growers more control, more stability over their crops than any other growing method. The Eve growing method is perfectly suited for inner city growing where waste of containers and composted material are easy to attain if one knows what to look for and where to find free supplies. People working on total self-sustainability who aspire to live off the grid will certainly see the advantages of Eve. Eve's low maintenance and grow anywhere, everywhere capability would be a valued addition to any system or garden already in place. These buckets come from just two restaurants near where I live. They make great containers for Eve growing. This is almost a year of dumpster diving, or what I like to call proud pollution policing, because I've saved useful grow materials that would have otherwise gone to our landfills, dumped into the oceans, or incinerated into the air. These buckets are one of the toughest and thickest food grade container you can get. Once they're washed out, they're in like new condition and should last many grow seasons. Imagine how many other restaurants, bakeries, grocery stores, and other businesses who use food grade buckets and other food grade containers there are. We're talking trillions of food grade containers that are used only once and then they're discarded, sent to God knows where. This should be unacceptable and it shows the absurdity of this warped economical system we're slaves to. Whether rich or poor, we should be outraged if we truly care about this world and the life that surrounds us. The Eve growing concept has a use for many of these valuable grow containers. Eve isn't just about growing in buckets. You can use almost any food grade container. Eve is about the inner mechanics of each container you retrofit for Eve growing. Eve's unique internal design incorporates internal aeration and fast direct irrigation, giving each plant its own underground like ecosystem that mimics Mother Earth's best growing conditions. Eve units are similar to these other non-traditional growing methods and grow towers, yet I feel Eve can be superior in some very important ways. These other grow methods require constant watering. Because of each container's internal design, Eve units can go days, sometimes weeks without needing to be watered. Eve's internal design allows aeration so the root system of the plant and other living organisms found within can receive the much needed oxygen. Aeroponics and hydroponics use expensive synthetic fertilizers, many times leaving growers depending on other people for their plant's nutrients. You could make your own liquid fertilizer, but this can be complex and problematic on many levels, involving a certain science that can be somewhat complicated. In my own personal opinion, making and building on your own organic compost is far easier, better for the planet, more in tune to the natural way we should be growing food for ourselves. These other grow methods are usually dependent on electricity, water pumps, and attached to all kinds of tubings. If the power cuts out or the pump fails while away, your garden is ruined in no time. Even the smallest of these systems can feel like taking care of a needy pet rather than plants. Using fish water as a supplemented nutrient is where the aquaponic aspect comes into play. Keeping fish separate or detached from your grow area has many advantages. Keeping fish in general as part of your garden has many advantages besides just the rich nutrients they provide. I'll be talking more about how Eve, fish, and other aquatic life work so well together in upcoming videos. No water is ever wasted, these other grow methods assert, and so too does Eve make the same claim. With Eve, the water leaving each container is more nutrient-rich than when it was initially added. 
The fish water used when watering, flowing through the rich composted soil containing composting worms that comfortably live and multiply within each container, continually turns out a rich garden tonic that is collected and used on the next watering. The worms not only provide another excellent organic nutrient, they help with aeration and irrigation as well. Very little is wasted with Eve. With the Eve growing system, there's no need to introduce more plastics into our environment by buying these other personal growing systems or towers. They will be obsolete once the Eve growing method is understood, destined to become the go-to urban growing technique. They'll be obsolete because Eve is cheaper, easier to make for yourself, simpler to maintain and use, better. Better because there's less chance for failure, more control for the grower, better for the environment, more like natural farming. <clears throat> With Eve, individual containers can be joined together in a row in typical Dutch bucket fashion, similar to raised garden beds, or stacked up vertically like these other non-traditional grow methods, allowing the gardener to plant many plants where they'd normally plant one or two. No matter how many you join together, there's always one exit hole where a grower can easily manipulate the excess nutrient-rich water flow back into the system where it is needed, rather than allowing this precious irrigation to be wasted as traditional farming has done for thousands of years. Whether for commercial or residential use, there are many ways to arrange and configure Eve. Growing with the Eve method, using actual rich organic soil rather than growing with hydroponics, aeroponics, and even aquaponics will get more people interested in growing, especially in urban settings where growing grounds are seemingly scarce. Eve's unique method of growing allows us a whole new way of looking at our inner city growing grounds where paved or contaminated lots, flat roofs, south-facing walls could now be looked at as potential gardens and farms. With Eve, you still benefit from all the advantages these other non-traditional grow methods provide. Vertical growing being one major advantage, but the ability to easily grow food anywhere and everywhere with little need to change your growing grounds is the key with Eve. Imagine all the possibilities of being able to easily move rows of vegetables around abandoned parking lots or rooftops with little need in changing them. Or simply rolling your row of vegetables to a classroom in order to teach gardening skills, the importance of composting and permaculture. Traditional farming and non-traditional farming coming together to help make our cities green while eliminating inner city food deserts is what Eve will do. One vision for an urban garden I have is this. Since Eve units can be mobile, not dependent or attached to electrical cords, pumps, and water hoses, as these other non-traditional grow methods demand, Imagine like the Amazon warehouses where the products stacked on racks come to the shipper or packer robotically if we set up a garden or farm in like manner. Robots move the Eve units from the field to the grower who waits in a shaded air conditioned area where all the planting, watering, pruning, picking, all the growing needs are done and then the Eve growing unit like the Amazon stacking rack goes back to the field back to the sun. The field, of course, being a smooth, hard surface, abandoned parking lots, rooftops, even the desert. Some corporate entity could turn their outside commercial dead space into Eve concept gardens, where visually pleasant plantings, edible fruits and vegetables surround them. Or how about our schools, college campuses, municipals, or some inner city location? They could incorporate the Eve growing technique to make way for the new urban farmer who is always a positive presence and much welcomed addition to our cities. Eve would be an asset to any one of these organizations. We all need healthy food and a green work environment is good for the mind, body and soul. Think of all the new jobs that would inevitably come about. Think about our cities where permaculture thinking becomes a normal way of living. People working together with this awesome power the billions of us rightly honor with the sacred title of God. Working in tune with Mother Nature using this incredible tool called science to create abundance for ourselves and the life that surrounds us could be the mentality of this new urban farmer. Working with the absolute laws of nature rather than against them. Today's urban farmers are scientists. They're growers, healers on many levels. Far more valuable than most of our high paid celebrities bankers, lawyers, or some financial genius found in this outdated economical paradigm. The urban farmer is certainly more productive, more of an asset than most of our politicians of today. Eve has everything to do with what we need to do if we hope to make this planet a heaven on earth for ourselves, the life that surrounds us, and for future generations. 
Why give this information out freely, you may ask? I know my family and friends ask this valid question all the time. The Eve idea comes from the many other awesome urban farmers I've been studying, too many to mention. All of them sharing their gardening methods freely. Their only agenda was to help their fellow man and the life that surrounds us, and hopefully make a living while doing so. I'll be giving this very important growing technique out freely because I totally believe in an open source world where information is free for all, where basic life necessities are shared as if we're one big global loving family. I support the Venus Project, the Zeitgeist Movement, and the Free World Charter, and anyone else who promotes a resource-based economy or equivalent. Eve is my contribution to these awesome organizations who not only point the way to our future, but they have a better model or plan to work with than this system or this thing we are now a part of that's never been beneficial for the collective whole. Many of us know today's economical system is outdated, detrimental, retarded, and we're years late getting rid of it for something far better. We need a system more in tune to natural laws. A system that relates to real economics, that benefits all. In my own personal opinion, the Venus Project, the Zeitgeist Movement, and the Free World Charter's work are nothing less than divine. Add the many other movements that mirror these organizations, and we've got major change coming. Finally, real positive change to look forward to and be a part of. This being said, I too am a victim of this crippling capitalistic mentality that's destined to destroy us all if we don't change our ignorant ways of thinking. My family and I are trying to stay afloat like everyone else is. So if there's anyone wishing to start an urban garden or farm, whether individual, municipal, commercial, or private organizations, I'm here to tell you I need work. I've helped create a simplistic urban growing technique anyone could easily master, and I'm eager to train and learn much more the art of growing healthy food in a permaculture conscious way. Eve has something very special to offer the urban farming movement, this I'm sure. Another sacred movement as far as I'm concerned, like the others mentioned, going hand in hand together. Those who are part of it all are the peace warriors of today who are creating planet Earth's loving people of tomorrow. No doubt in my mind the urban farmer and these other movements mentioned will be the much needed change we'll be seeing in the world. If you're looking at this video, chances are I sent it to you direct in hopes of working with you with the Eve growing technique. So feel blessed or very lucky. People who understand Eve's value and embrace this growing concept first, in my opinion, will reap the rewards like other world changers and ideas have. I'm looking for the ultimate starter Eve growing location a home base or showroom, so to speak, where we can create a modern-day urban farm model that grows totally organic food and teaches the world's people a growing system like we've never seen before. My name is Mark. I'm with Gardens of Divine Design, and I'm now ready to interview potential partners or co-workers who can understand the importance of this work, people who have the financial means or fortitude to make this urban farming revolution come to fruition even faster. Contact me if Eve interests you. We can talk more about this simplistic inner city growing method and start changing the world one loving grower at a time. More informational videos to follow. Subscribe if you like and we'll literally grow up together. That's all I have to say for now. God bless. Over and out.